This is the iPhone 13 mini, and I am so excited to finally try out this phone. And honestly, I'm so happy they even made this. Like there were a lot of rumors floating around from pretty much month one after the 12 mini came out that the, the mini's not gonna survive because the sales are low. I'm glad it survived because it is a fantastic size. And the only reason why I didn't use my mini more last year was just because of the battery, which this one promises to fix. So this year I got the pink 128 gig storage option on the 13 mini. 128 gigs is now standard. You can get a 256 or a 512, but I think 128 should be good enough for most people. No more 64, thank goodness. So let me go ahead and open up the box. And before I do that, I just wanted to point out, there's this nice cool touch. The iPhone that's written, it is color matte. So it's, it's, uh, it's a light pink and it looks really cool. Um, so this pink is more of a blush than a pink. I did see it in store, so I know what I'm gonna be looking at when I open the box, but I am still excited to kind of see it under my own light and inside my own environment. And by the way, yes, these pull tabs are now new. There is no more plastic on the phone. Uh, the box comes without plastic, but it does come with these two pull tabs um, that should do the job with way less plastic uh, usage. Now, I do have to say that the tabs are pretty innovative because uh, they don't go on the outside. They go on the inside towards the inside. So um, it's not going to be very easy to, um, you know, reseal this or to just buy another one of these tabs and kind of act like this is a new phone, even if it's not. Um, I'm pretty sure Apple did think about that and they're like, no, let's make sure that that's not possible. So let's go ahead, open up the box and see the phone inside. Now, I am always excited. I think one of the bigger things I'm excited about is because the notch is smaller, I think it should make a difference with this phone as well. There we go. All right, so it definitely looks a little bit more pinkish here than it did at the store. Uh, there were a lot of very warm yellow lights at the Apple store. I don't know what it was about the Apple store lighting today. Just like the colors didn't look right to me there, but um, it is like silver with a hint of purple, like pink, I'm sorry. Like there was a drop of pink, at least especially on the back. Now the frame from what I'm able to tell, wow, already damaging shit, but uh, from the frame is very clearly a light pink. It's nice, but the back is a much more subtle color. Um, almost would be hard to tell unless you were told it's a, it's a pinkish color. It's very light and I actually do like this. Um, I did like the black as well. I'm undecided on whether I'm going to keep the pink one or trade it in for a um, black one. That's something I'm going to decide in a couple of days. But for now, I'm just happy to try out the pink one and see where it takes me. So let me go ahead and uh, peel. Oh, before I do this, I'm going to go ahead and show you what's in the box. So the box is pretty sparse. There's not that much to talk about. There's the uh, lightning, to, the lightning to USB-C charger. No charge brick, of course. And then you do have the little uh, Apple pack, which has the SIM card tool. It has the, um, it's not even a quick start guide, just a warning guide, uh, you know, giving some weird information. And then you've got the Apple sticker, of course. So that's pretty much the only thing you get in the box. You basically get one, two, three, four, five, six things in the box total. And that's like including paperwork and like stuff that comes in. So a very sparse unboxing experience. Um, so let's go ahead, put this away and take a closer look at the phone itself, which is obviously the main attraction anyways. So in person, I'm actually not minding the diagonal design as much as I do in, on camera. Even honestly, looking at it on camera looks super weird, but just looking at it in person, it doesn't look that awkward to me. It, it, I don't know what it is. I'm so weirded out because honestly, I'm looking at my camera screen right now and the diagonal doesn't fit right, but I'm looking at it in person then it looks fine. It doesn't look like it's a problem. So that's, that's a little bit messing with my head here, but uh, it is cool. I'm going to peel the plastic. I'm going to shut up and keep the mic close to the phone so that you guys can enjoy some plastic peel action. Oh, yes. That's always such a very, very satisfying sound and feeling. Um, so I'm going to put on a screen protector really quick and come right back to you guys. All right. Screen protector installed. 
Uh, things are looking good. I like to install the screen protector immediately because the display is absolutely clean and there's nothing on it so I don't have to worry about dust or anything from when I clean it again. So I just like to get it done immediately and it just it's something that's off my mind. So right off the bat, same thing I noticed with the iPhone uh, 13 Pro Max was that the earpiece has been moved to the absolute top and that is extremely noticeable. And honestly, I like that change. Um, most phones have pushed the earpiece to the extreme top now and it looks good. It's kind of hidden and out of the way compared to what it was like before where it was it sat kind of right in the middle of the notch and it was noticeable. It wasn't a big problem, but it, it was noticeable. All right, so phone is up. Let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, I'm gonna go go ahead and get through the setup process, use the phone for a couple minutes and come back to you guys with my initial impressions and what I'm feeling about the phone. So I spent the last couple minutes messing around with the iPhone 13 mini and let me give you my first impressions. Number one, it feels extremely similar in hand. It doesn't feel very uh, different at all from the uh, 12 mini, which makes sense because I mean, they are still pretty much the same exact size. You guys can see right next to each other um, they look extremely identical and everything about them is the same too, even down to the antenna band locations. Um, the, everything, you know, the, maybe the volume buttons are slightly changed. And I think that the 13 mini is like a hair taller. Uh, I could be wrong, but I, that's what I remember. And that's how it feels like right now. So I think that is true. Uh, everything else kind of just looks absolutely the same and that's not a bad thing. This is a fantastic design and I do not mind it being carried over. Um, so let's start off and talk about the display. The display is brighter and the notch definitely makes a difference. I am very happy with the, uh, the even though it is a small size difference now, um, you know, compared to this, it's not like it's a massive like, oh, the notch is gone. It does make a difference, especially because of how uh, tight the notch was on the 12 mini. It just like, there's barely enough space. Like you can see the signal bar is just like really crammed right there. Um, whereas with this, you're going to have a lot more space on both sides and it looks a lot more natural. Now, preferably I would have preferred there not to be any notch or a much smaller notch. Um, but that's probably not going to happen for a little while longer. And I've just come to accept that. Um, it's, it sucks, but I, there's not much I can do about that. Moving on, let's talk about the cameras. The cameras are a big thing. And actually, you know what? On the topic of camera, let me answer a question I think a lot of people had. Is the iPhone 13 mini gonna fit in the 12 mini cases? And I have a 12 mini case right here. Um, and the answer for those wondering, unfortunately, is no, it will not fit. So you guys can see it's protruding. I cannot push it in, like I'm pushing it, it does not go in. Um, the camera is just too big. Um, the module, the size has changed, so the these cases do not work, sadly. It's unfortunate. They are not compatible. They're not forward compatible. So if you have a 12 mini case, you're not going to be able to use it on your 13 mini. Um, so don't buy one for the 13 mini if it's a 12 mini case. That's not going to work on them. Um, that being said, the cameras are very, very different. Just look at them in size. The modules are just absolutely night and day. They are, the iPhone 13 mini looks, the cameras just look so much more massive. And I mean, it's not like the 12 mini's cameras are small or anything either. It's just the 13 mini has definitely taken a big step up when it comes to that camera module uh, on a whole. And now they also have sensor shift. There's a lot of improvements all across the board. And I'm, I'm very, very definitely seeing all of them. So let me start off with the camera. And the first thing I saw was the photographic styles, which was pretty, it was, it was a nice thing to see. Now photographic styles, what it does is if you don't know, it pretty much changes the look of your camera. So I'm sorry, let me go ahead and put a normal zoom on there. All right, there we go. And let me go ahead and show you what photographic styles look like. So keep paying attention to my hand and you guys can see as you change the photographic styles, you can completely change the way a photo looks. Now, this isn't something you have to have enabled and you can absolutely customize these to suit them to your needs. Um, those are just like the five presets they already have. But for, as I've said in my 13 Pro Max video, I prefer not to use that because it really, I, I prefer to just take the photo as it is and then kind of do it all later because not every photo is gonna need the same kind of uh, filter or altering. Like for this one, you can clearly see like this one actually works really well and this one doesn't because it's just too dark and everything looks really bad. Um, so I'd rather just 
take them in standard and then tweak with the photos as I need to. But it's a nice feature to have. This also has portrait mode, um, which all iPhones have. I don't know why I said portrait mode. This also has the cinematic mode that Apple was very much so touting. So I'm gonna switch to the B cam. Hello, B cam. Um, to give you guys a demo. So I've started the video and as I come closer, you guys will see, I can shift focus to the background or shift it back to the foreground. Now this is working a lot better on the 13 mini than it did on the Pro Max, which is crazy. But yeah, it's a it's a pretty decent feature. This is a kind of artificial blur. It's not a real blur, but, um, and it doesn't pick up as quickly as I want. It doesn't auto pick up at all, to be honest. Uh, Apple really showed it off auto picking up, but it, it's not. It's giving me a lot of headaches with that. Um, it kind of just chooses what it wants to be locked in on and you have to tap on uh, a subject in the background for it to shift focus. Um, it's not automatic. Maybe they might fix it in the future, but for the time being, don't buy this camera just because, don't buy this phone because that cinematic mode looks appealing to you. It really won't be that good. It just, it's, it's an okay feature, but it's not something I, f I foresee using a lot. The front camera is noticeably better noticeably better on this than the 12 mini. Um, I took one photo and I immediately felt like, wow, this is a big difference. And I took one side by side and the difference is very comparable. I'll, I'll put a photo, uh, I'll put them side by side on the screen here. You guys can just see the, the front camera is very improved. And also this, this new phone, has, the 13 mini has sensor shift technology, which is basically a very, very good form of optical image stabilization. And I tested it out in a very crude, rudimentary way. I, I was going to say crude, but then rudimentary, and I said crudimentary. So let's just say crudimentary um, for the shits and giggles. But I, I tested it out in a very crudimentary way, and it is a big difference. So I took a 5x zoom photo of this case, and I focused on this Apple logo. And I'll just put the photos side by side, the 12 mini and the 13 mini, and you guys can see the difference for yourself. Just having that improved optical image stabilization is helping already. So um, initial impressions on the camera, very positive, loving the changes. The improvements are noticeable. Usually they're not this noticeable right off the bat. It takes a little bit more testing, but this one is definitely noticeable. Um, the display's likes, I'm liking the notch size reduction. Everything about this feels familiar. The battery is something I'm going to have to test longer term, so I don't know. Uh, and just, I'll give you guys a quick demo of the notch, right? Um, I'll just show you guys what the notch looks like uh, on both phones when you have video playing. So just going to show you guys a video on both of them so you guys can kind of see the difference between the two. Um, the notch size on this definitely is way more noticeable than on this. It, um, it just, even though this is a taller notch technically, uh, it seems to fade in better which is kind of the, the goal here. You don't want the notch to be as you know apparent. You just kind of want it to blend in eventually. Preferably it wouldn't be there, as I said at the beginning of the video, but having it blend in would be the best option. And this does a pretty decent job. Um, you know, it definitely isn't as nice as not having a notch at all, but it is definitely better than the 12 mini, which was just way, way worse um, when it came to that. But overall, honestly, I am very impressed with the 12 mini, 13 mini, I'm sorry. Uh, it takes all the things I loved about the 13, uh, the 12, and incorporates it so well. So that's my initial impression of the 13 mini. I absolutely recommend it. If you are interested in it, I think just based off my initial impressions, this phone is a no-brainer. Just absolutely uh, close your eyes and go for it. It's fantastic. Um, and I'm, I'm very excited to give it a, a, you know, a full review and compare and contrast to the 12 mini to see where the changes have been made and... Um, particularly, I'm very excited to try out that new battery life. So um, if you haven't already, be sure to follow me on social media for more updates and photos and behind the scenes stuff. I'll have the handles right here on the screen and of course, link down in the description below. If you want to check out the iPhone, the screen protector, the cases, anything I use, I have those linked in the description as well. Go check those out. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more iPhone 13 mini content and pretty much all Apple content because I've got a bunch of case videos coming up too. So if you're curious about what case to get for your iPhones, uh, be sure to subscribe because a ton of case videos are coming your way. That's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.